Good afternoon, good morning, and good day. Hello once again, it's your boy Big Buppo, and uh, check it out. Uh, I made a faith build, but here's the thing. Uh, I actually made this footage weeks ago, so yeah, this is pre-patch. Uh, the reason why you guys are watching pre-patch footage is because I am trying to stick to a YouTube schedule to make sure that I create content on a regular basis, because in the past, Every time I try to do YouTube, I'd get distracted by streams. So, uh, this faith build was <laughs> the reason I didn't put this video out in a while, or I had the footage but didn't do much with it, was because this build's really unoptimized, and uh, as you can see, I am very much not used to using a faith build. Um, I'm doing my best, and it does a crap ton of damage, and again, it's pre-patched, so it is going to be what it is. Uh, I know that uh, incantations didn't take too much of a difference, but regardless, uh, that's the build, that's the footage we got, and yeah, so I'm trying to stick to a YouTube schedule, and um, unfortunately, my PC has been having an aneurysm tonight, so what I would have normally done is I had an idea for a completely different build, uh, not even remotely close to what you guys are seeing right now. And I was going to record and make the video all in one night. I was super motivated to do it. And I don't know what's going on with my PC, but uh, it does not want to cooperate. So I'm going to be running some virus scans and uh, just, you know, after this, I'm going to fix it and see what's going on. But uh, yeah, that, that's what's going on in the life of Buppo. Um, you guys can also see me uh, attempt a playstyle that uh, I am completely or was completely unfamiliar with. Um, I, I never really go full caster, um, I did once back when I used to play Dark Souls 3 a lot, and it was alright, but I'd end up always picking up a weapon and then relying heavily on that weapon and using the spells as, uh, or incantations in this case, uh, more as like a supplementary thing to it. And, uh, that's what I ended up, uh, feeling when I played this build, at least what I remember from weeks back. That's what I ended up doing. Now, I could be using busted combos. Like, I've seen... Uh, I've been watching Giga Thickus. I, I, I'm pretty sure you guys watch Giga Thickus too, right? Pretty good YouTube content creator. So, shout out to that guy. Who uh, pretty much is establishing all the, the combos for uh, Elden Ring. And uh, discovering them and putting out content for that. So, uh, I had not... I had not seen his um, spell combo videos prior to making this so this is just me going in raw dogging it absolutely like just trying to figure it out along the way and uh yeah coded swords slap coded swords are good um i don't know how good they are anymore i'm gonna have to revisit i'm gonna have to revisit this whole build so you guys are probably gonna see a version of this build out in the future with the spell combos and everything but uh, for now, um, wow, that was crazy. I, I thought I was going to win that. I thought I had an L1 in me, but uh, that's another thing. I really made this build squishy. Like, I put, I have 60. I have 60 in my health stat, but um, I'm not wearing armor. I'm wearing literal rags. So, you know, uh, in Elden Ring, more than any other Souls game, I find. Uh, maybe, except maybe Dark Souls 1. I don't know. I'm, I wasn't an expert of Dark Souls 1. I just played through it and enjoyed it. But uh, in terms of PvP, the, for, in my personal experience, this is the Souls game where armors seem to matter the most. And keep in mind, I'm a guy who played Dark Souls 3 a lot, so, you know, Fashion Souls 3, essentially. Uh, Elden Ring is not uh, a Fashion Souls game. Elden Ring, uh, armor actually matters. Um, I feel like the only armor that really mattered at meta for Dark Souls 3, for example, was, like, the lap armor set, just because it was had just the craziest resistances like lap and maybe havels but even then like you you know you, you couldn't really crutch that hard on on a lap set in my personal opinion i i could do a lot on any other set like it was really it was really just fashion souls 3 elden ring it's a little different it's a little different um uh, pretty squishy i'll take damage if i if i get hit in my rags but uh that being said faith spells man they're fun they're fun it is a fun way to play the game. Now, I could just be spamming the rocks, but uh, that's there's no fun there. Um, now, you know, I, I think using all the different uh, abilities, using all the different incantations in a creative way is a more fun way to play it, a more fair way to play it. 
but uh, not necessarily, uh, you know, the... I, I don't know. I had weird vibes while playing this build. That's all I remember. It was weeks ago, so I had more to say back then, and maybe I should have released this footage sooner. But, uh, yeah, using incantations... Um, I feel like this would be so much better for invasions. Also, that was like the best throw you're going to see throughout this whole video. I'm not even going to lie. I don't remember any other good shots except that one. Also, this. This is my favorite. Okay? That setup to the panic roll, right? The one lightning strike to the multi-strike. That shit's dope as fuck. Okay? That is one thing I really enjoyed about this build. And I think I'm going to apply... In any faith build I do, I'm going to use that lightning combo right there. It's not really a combo, but it's a good setup. And I'm going to be using that setup. Uh, Catch Flame and the uh, Giant's Flame incantation are pretty good. Also, uh, you know, Giant's Flame Take Thee, very fun spell to throw around. Uh, Bestial Sling, I feel like it's good for finishing and, and uh, harassing to a certain degree. But, like, spamming it is kind of a shitty thing to do. Also, as you can see, I'm, I'm going for roll catches. I'm going for unlocked aim, but this guy will not engage. And I think this guy's expecting me to pull out a weapon, but, like, this is a pure faith cast build. Like, I'm not... I'm pulling out nothing, bro. I'm not pulling out a single thing. All right, I, I hate to do this to you, homie, but, like, I'm just gonna... I'm gonna be doing this. I'm gonna be doing this. And that's it. That's all. Oh, I try to hit him with the combo. Yeah, he, he is he is not liking what I'm doing. <laughs> and that's the other thing, too. I do kind of... I did kind of feel bad at times using this build. Because I'm like, uh, it, it feels kind of... Feels kind of cheap. Feels kind of stinky. But, uh, you know, it, it is what it is. Ooh, I thought that would have killed him. Yeah, you guys are experiencing the footage the same way I am at this point. I'm like, oh, I thought I was going to get him there. Ooh, that too, man. That's the thing, like, just a tiny bit of, he starts lag switching, essentially. That tiny bit of latency makes a big difference. And, uh, here's the deal. I, he's got the better build. Yeah, as you can see, that Royal Knight Resolve on the Dual Lance, he's got the better build. I, I have a feeling I don't win this one. Just because of how, like, this is what you're supposed to do playing against a caster, or, like, uh, someone who uses that distance. You gotta play a bit more passive, and you gotta be patient. And he did the right thing there. No, nothing against him. Like, he, he genuinely just played the right way. Alright, uh, going into this fight, uh, man points forwards. I can't even read their name, but uh, is what it is. I think it says Virgil. Um, watching back on my uh, Adobe software for doing these voice recordings, I'm, you know, just peeking into the veil here for you guys there. Uh, it's not ideal. But, uh, oh yeah, okay, this is Virgil from Devil May Cry, I would assume. I've actually never played the DMC games, alright? That's the truth. I've never played Devil May Cry. I've seen Devil May Cry. I, I played a little bit of the new DMC when it came out, but that was it. Also, Giant's Flame Take Thee. My goodness. What what a spell. What a, what a cast. Uh, I need more of that in my life. I feel like, and as I've said, this build in duels, eh, it's alright. It's all right. There are better builds, but in invasions, ooh, I have a feeling this is much, much better in invasions. Yeah, and uh, he's he's going about it the right way as well. You know, just that's how you want to deal with a uh, spell casting of this caliber. You kind of want to just keep your distance, stay patient, do your thing. Inevitably, they're gonna come in. You know, uh, wow, that that's Moonville kind of stinky. Moonville kind of busted. Uh, okay, moment of truth. There it is. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. If he would have dodged that, I would have tried the roll catch. But uh, yeah, there are better. There are better incantation combos out there. My catch flame into the uh, golden uh, wrath of the gods or whatever it's called. You know me. I don't know the spell names. I don't know. I I, I haven't bothered to learn every name of every item in this game. Plus, there are so many this time around where it's like. I'm going to call it what I re vaguely remember it being called, you know? Also, what was this guy's build? My man looking like Cthulhu. Oh, a Madness build? Looking like a... Uh... Oh, okay, this is cool. This is some Lovecraftian horror shit. I like this. With the gravity magic? Oh, this, this guy had a theme. This guy had a theme. My theme was looking absolutely vile. Oh, fuck. That would have been so beautiful. That would have been such a good finish. God damn. 
I thought this, you know, I remember this footage uh, being less fun. I, but looking back, I'm like, oh, I think, I think, you know what? You know what? I think incantation builds are flashier. They look flashier than they feel, in my opinion. I felt so out of place using this that I was just like, oh man, this, this feels awkward. I feel like I can't land anything. And maybe if I made the build like start to finish, like maybe if I played through with this, then it would have been different because this is just a build like I made and tried, right? Like this this is what I did on PC. I, I, I got all the runes and I just made the build. Like this isn't the build I played through the game with. So it could just be, you know, a lack of comfort with using it. But that's how I that's how I felt the whole time using it. It was just a lack of comfort. Like I I was trying shit that uh, would may or may not work. Oh, I thought he was gonna kill me there, but I guess he didn't commit. Oh man. Ooh, 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 no, oh no, mamma mia! Where am I going? Who am I lightning casting at? Whoa, who am I fighting? My demons? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> oh, there we go, there we go. Oh, yeah, you can double cast that? That's kind of cool. You can follow up cast that? That's kind of neat. All right, I'll take it, I'll take it. That's pretty good, that's pretty good. But yeah, guys, this uh, this is how I felt. This is how I felt pretty much playing through. I Like, the memories are now flowing back, and uh, it felt awkward. It just felt awkward. I find that faith builds are a little bit awkward. They're a little bit awkward in this game. Um, that's if you're going pure, like, faith casting. If you add a weapon to it, I have a feeling that it's a lot more fun and a lot better to use. Like, uh, I here's the thing. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I haven't done a Madness dueling video yet. But uh, I will. I will eventually. I just didn't want to do one right away because there's a million of them out there on YouTube right now. And I'm trying to stand out. Like the bow build, for example, that, that was that was my uh, pride and joy. I stood out with that one. Uh, the, the samurai build, too. That was pretty good. The gravity samurai. I'm very proud of that one. That was, and still my favorite build to use. But uh, faith builds just, uh, I don't know, felt messy, felt awkward. Felt like I need to get used to it. All right? Felt like I need to, I need to learn it proper. I need to learn it proper. Also, I'm surprised that hit. I, I think he didn't expect that to hit either. He was a little shocked by that. But uh, GG's to my mans there. Uh, we pray for him. We pray for him. with the. Uh, oh, and if you fought my character, he was known as Rejected Buppo. And uh, I did not get a lot of W's on this build. That's the thing. Like, you guys are seeing the W's, but I feel like... Well, you know what? I'm, I might be misremembering. Maybe it was very strong, and I just felt weird using it. But, uh, yeah, you know, like I've said before, I play this game uh, almost on pure vibes alone. And uh, the vibes felt off. The vibes just felt a little off. That's it. Um, and I'm trying to think, you know, what kind of weapon would go well with this? And, uh, yeah, the Madness Spear is usually good for, for this kind of thing. Um, but, you know, literally anything else. Like, the... the I, I just like spears, actually, in this game. But a great sword could go well with the paired well with this as well. You know the the poise damage and the stagger that you could get from the great sword or even an ultra great sword. Then you follow up with a catch flame, maybe hit them with the golden wrath retaliation, and you got yourself a very high damaging combo. Uh, you know, shout outs to Gigathicus for uh, I think is exactly what I saw him do. It was like the Uggs uh, poke. Well, I mean Uggs poke pre patch would like you know combo into literally anything. But, uh, there was another... Man, what was it? My memory is fading, but, you know, we'll see. We'll... we'll I'll, I'll share a link or something. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. But either way, if you guys have been watching so far, um, I really appreciate it. And I appreciate all the support this channel has seen, uh, since its, uh, inception. Or it's in, uh, since its, uh, delve into the Elden Ring world. I have a few ideas written down, uh, in a little note stock on my phone for about like 20 different builds to come in the future and uh yeah uh hopefully my pc will be running smoothly by then i plan to have it sorted out before the end of the night tonight which uh will be uh yesterday by the time this uh video releases but uh yeah um the recusant revelry series is still uh gonna be going up and all that um if my PC isn't sorted out, you guys might not get an episode this Saturday, so I'm apologizing in advance for that. 
If you guys are following me weekly and uh, checking out my uh, content bi-weekly as it comes out, then, you know, you might be expecting, hey, Saturday, here comes the next video, but uh, no promises, no promises. I might make a community announcement. Oh, that's the other thing. We got the community tab now, so that's really, really cool. I'm really excited about that. Um, I'm not much of a poster, though, so uh, you might not see too much uh, from uh, the community tab, but every once in a while i'll probably post a meme that uh, i found on twitter or something if twitter is still a thing <laughs> i say that only because of the way it's going as of late if you guys have been following any of that and uh, what uh, the new ceo has been doing with it you guys know who he is you guys know you guys know what he's doing but either way yeah, pff, whatever uh no, that's not what this is about what we're talking about here is the absolute bad bad vibes i was getting from this build um you know, better vibes to come, though, especially uh, with the uh, spell combos and, like, incantation combos that I've been seeing people pull off. And, um, I, you know, one of my next video ideas, uh, well, there's going to be Buster McThruster, which is just going to be a um, suggestion from uh, Bazooka Fish that I'm working on right now. That was actually the video that was supposed to come out. I have the whole build prepped and everything, and, uh, yeah, it was just not going to happen with my PC tonight. But uh, until then, until then, uh, I'll have it sorted out. That'll be the next video. And then after that, there was another video that a commenter had posted. Or not a video, but a video idea that I really, really liked. And it was to use that very sword, actually. Um, with the uh, uh, Moonlight uh, Greatsword as well. So, or Frost Moon Greatsword, whatever it's called in this game. Uh, yeah, using the Golden Order Greatsword with the Frost Moon Greatsword. And uh, creating this uh, Pastor of Vows type character, the, or Saint of Vows, you know. Basically, a uh, disciple of Muriel, uh, you know, follower of the Church of Vows. And, uh, oh my god, did this guy ever level up health? Or is this pre-patch? Look at that damage. That's disgusting. That's schnasty. But yeah, as you can see, I have uh, much, much more comfort uh, not using spells. Um... You know, uh, I, I'm a melee guy. I, I like I like using melee. Like, like it was a lot easier and a lot more comfortable for me to win that fight just using the dual swords. And dual swords slap, bro. Like dual swords in this game, they they they're good, good. They're good, good. Um, either way, either way. Oh shit! It's the rematch against the Golden Order, man. But yeah, the build's gonna be a dual greatsword build. Uh, you know, intelligence, uh, faith, hybrid. Uh, gonna be using some, uh, you know, Golden Order incantations, but also a little bit of heresy, a little bit of blasphemous spells and uh, incantations, because uh, that's that's what the character is gonna be about. He's gonna be about uh, the reconciliation between Carrion royalty and the Lindel royal capital. Um, you know, it, it's a concept. Uh, probably gonna be wearing Nox Monk's robes and stuff like that. You know, I, I've been thinking about that build a lot. As for the, um, uh, <laughs> Claw Talisman Raptor, uh, Thrust build, I feel like that's just gonna be a fun, silly little, uh, jumping attack build. So, uh, yeah, that's, uh, and we got other ideas, I got other ideas, but, uh, for now, uh, this, this is the Faith build. This is the Faith build that I did. We're gonna revisit it in the future, though, have a more elaborate Faith build. Uh, Golden Order build, I think, is going to be another thing that I want to do. Uh, I want to work on a poison slash rot character again, but a little more focus on uh, being the Mushroom Man. And uh, maybe revisit a bow build idea, because people were telling me to use the Stormhawk arrow, so we're going to check that out in the future as well. Uh, oh my goodness. You know, the one build I really want to work on is uh, the lag build. I'm going to make my... Uh, I'm going to um, turn on my VPN, uh, set my region to like... Uh, Southeast Asia or something and uh, just see uh, just see uh, the power that lag will unlock for me you know the genuine uh, turbulent uh, viability that I'm going to get from it <laughs> but uh, all jokes aside uh, yeah I do here's the thing though in terms of like me feeling uncomfortable using uh, pure casting I really really like the faith weapons in this game though like the the McKellen sword uh, the um uh, uh, what's it called? The, the, the halberd one, right? The, the sentinel halberd, the golden sentinel halberd. Uh, the tree spear, um, the staff of the avatar, the rotten one, coated swords. Like, there's so many interesting faith weapons. 
the beast hammer. All right, that beast hammer is... I know it's bad right now, but, like, I love it. I love it because I just like great hammers in this game. I find that they've got a really fun little oomph. I mean, I've always liked the great hammers, but uh, the ones in this game are fun, too. What I wish was in this game... Also, he almost died to that. That's crazy. But what I really wish was in this game was the Quakestone Hammer. The Quakestone Hammer was awesome. And, uh, yeah, I feel like I spent 10 minutes of this 20-minute video kind of talking about everything else except this build. But, like, unfortunately, that's just how I felt, man. That's just how I felt. I felt like the whole time I, I thought I was going to, like, love this. And I, I was just kind of disappointed. I was like, ah, oh, this was not as fun as I thought it was going to be for this build. Uh, it's not a bad build per se, but it's not the build I thought it was going to be, you know? Also, I have no idea how and why it worked the first time, didn't work the second time. And clearly I needed to cast a fireball at my demons over there. Um, they were scaring me and distracting me from the fight, so uh, it is what it is. And uh, yeah, coated swords, kind of schlap, kind of schnice, very, very fun. Dual swords, pretty good, pretty good. Um... But yeah, I think the meta's changed in regards to that since uh, since the 1.07 patch. So uh, I, I need to get back into Elden Ring. Here's here's another truth. Uh, I've been playing a shit ton of Pokemon Unite again. Uh, that game is like crack to me because uh, I used to play a lot of League of Legends and it made me very unhappy. And now I'm playing Pokemon Unite and I'm slowly getting unhappy. <laughs> so uh, I'm getting off uh, Pokemon Unite. I'm going back to the gym. I'm getting my life back in order. And uh, we're going to play some more Elden Ring. Uh, you know, I'm going to focus back on uh, Elden Ring and making Elden Ring content. But uh, that being said, um, I wish my PC worked. Uh, it, it worked well enough to record this, though. So, very excited about that. And uh, thanks again for watching, guys. Remember to like and subscribe and do all that if you feel like doing it. And if you don't, that's fine, too. But I appreciate you. So, here's the stats on screen. Uh, you know, and the spells uh, included. And here's the, um, equipment and talismans that I used for the character. The drip is the sickest part of it, though. But that's it, guys. Take care. Have a good night. Subscribe to Big Bubbles YouTube. You must. Or tickle your toes. I will.